Well, hello, Old Republic podcast listeners. Today, we're going to be diving into some new territory for Cassia and myself. We are going to be talking about SWOTOR because we just had a cinematic trailer drop and we just had a new expansion drop. So how exciting is this, Cassia? We've we've not really gotten into SWOTOR yet, but today is the day we are we are going we're going full blown into it. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm always excited. I love these trailers so much. Uh, ever since seeing the first Deceived trailer, I, I've always been a fan of these trailers made by uh, the amazing Blur Studios. Uh, I think you mm-hmm. know more about SWOTOR than I do because <laughs> you're you're a pro streamer, basically. I am a uh, semi amateur professional streamer. No, I'm not a professional streamer by any means, but I. I do have a Twitch channel, and you should come check it out because I am trying to get into that a little bit. Um, we're going to be doing some SWOTOR here uh, at some point, but you can find that at twitch.tv um, slash astro underscore droid underscore. So if you follow me on Instagram, it's the same username as there. I'm doing Fallen Order right now, but yeah, I definitely want to get into SWOTOR because uh, it looks awesome. People really love it, and I definitely want to dig into it because you and I have never played it. So I want to see what all the buzz is about. Um, see if the game can live up to these trailers because the trailers are awesome. Um, and yeah, we got a new one today. It kind of came uh, out. It's been a while since we had a trailer. So uh, just to talk about SWOTOR a little bit here before we before we get into the trailers. So SWOTOR came out in 2011 uh, you know, by BioWare. Um, it's had uh, eight expansions now with the Legacy of the Sith being the most recent one. It just dropped on uh, February 15th, which is just uh, just yesterday as of us recording uh, this right now, um, and it's had uh, six of these cinematic trailers now. So, like you mentioned, it started with Deceived in 2009 and Hope in 2010. So those both came out before the game even came out. So it just is kind of like hype videos. Um, and then they kept going. Uh, the last one being Betrayed in 2016 until just this week when Disorder dropped. So it's been a six-year absence of these SWOTOR cinematic trailers. So I think kind of like the Legacy of the Sith expansion, a little bit of a surprise to people who thought that maybe SWOTOR was winding down, but no, it seems like they're still going strong with this thing. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I think when I first like read this, I was like, it's called Star Wars Discord. Then I'm like, would that help or hurt their search engine optimization? Because it's very similar <laughs> to Discord. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, it's a little dyslexic moment. It's actually disorder. So um, yeah, so yeah, I I think it is an excellent trailer and it's nice to kind of have them after after a little bit of a break and Mm -hmm. they did not let anything go no definitely um uh, very excited all of the buzz that i've seen about the trailer has been uh really positive so i'm excited to you know watch this along uh with you and kind of get our reactions see what we think about it um they actually went back and redid all of the cinematic trailers in like 4k it was like three months ago i think so you can actually yeah. go on to uh you know swotor's official uh youtube channel and and watch those and yeah they look uh, very glorious in uh, high definition there yeah glorious glorious 4k so <laughs> should we should we watch this new trailer that's right yeah so we're going to be watching it on the uh official old republic uh, youtube page we'll put a link to the video in the uh, description down there so you can watch along with us it's uh, just about six and a half minutes and we're going to count down and press play and then you know see what we think about this all right three two one punch it chewy okay and we are off Lucasfilm Games. Yeah, got the got the new logo there. I like that. Looks a lot like Mars. It does. And yeah. then oh, I got my star map content. That's all <laughs> I wanted in life. That's right. It's it's awesome. I like it. It's like a uh, little hand drawn. Oh look, there's a little astromech droid back there on the <laughs> wall. He's like a little he's like yeah. a little chibi R two. I like it. Yeah, mudhorn plushie. Mudhorn couple of kids oh that's an interesting like... uh detail with the injured leku mm-hmm. i wonder if that plushie is available at galaxy's edge uh it should be we definitely need a mudhorn uh plushie oh 
Oh, snap. <laughs> I love the purple lightsaber there. That looks good. Yeah. We did an episode with uh, Transcend Sabers in episode mm -hmm. 110. Learned a lot about the different kind of uh, martial arts they use yeah, that's in these right. fights. Who do we think this uh, this guy in the uh, black armor is there? I'm sure everyone watching who plays Sotor probably knows. <laughs> but... I think Rando Sith, but that's definitely Darth M Malgus. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. I also like that uh, shoulder pad. And mm -hmm. glorious astrolabe content. Yeah, I'm look so at that. Oh, so amazing. Oh, blade twist and turn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know all that much about Darth Malgus. I need to, I need to read up on uh, his story. <laughs> Get into him a little bit more. I think. Uh oh, that doesn't seem good. Tarzan content. Yeah, look at that. So his last name is Orr. That's. Kind of like uh, a little familiar, I think. Is it like Jaden Core or Jan Ors or something? Yeah, maybe. That looks like the. Uh... Yeah, it looks like the. The nurse droid from, uh, was it Pol Polis Minor on oh, yeah. episode Polis three? Massa. Yeah. Yeah. Or Polis Massa. Or Polis Massa, yeah. Visions of unresolved trauma. There are so many better ways that Jedi could have handled that, but they don't, <laughs> yeah. they're not taught to, like, be healthy humans. Yeah. I love it how he's just kind of, like, nudging her. Mm-hmm. To the... Maybe just to doubt, not even like fall to, the, fall to the dark side, but this is what I would love to like see with Malik and Bastila, because mm -hmm. I think having Bastila fall to the dark side and not get tortured would give her more agency, because this like gives her agency, but stuff to work through. Right, right. Oh, right. goodbye, Astrolabe. I loved you. Okay. Whoa. Uh oh. Well done, Yondu. Now give it to me. You could have saved my brother. This reminds me of uh, Jedi Fallen Order, not Holocron. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks just like it. Extra, that kind of astrolabe kind of reminds me of Jedi Fallen Order, too, when you're doing like the, uh, like the tomb. Puzzles and stuff. Yeah. A last Jedi moment. Oh, yeah. And I love that we're getting more purple blade content. More purple, yeah, more purple blades. That's always good. Uh, he was just going to, like, take a lightsaber to her to get that thing. That doesn't seem very good. That's her master. Like, he should yeah. be better than that, I think. Exactly. I'm sorry. He dead. Ooh. Don't let a good saber go to waste, you know? Yeah. And it's, in a way, she's kind of fighting, like, her past two in that green saber. I don't... I don't think we've ever seen a red and green saber together, have we? I don't think. Wait, are they different? No, just kidding. I, I, I'm, I'm not <laughs> colorblind. That would be hilarious. <laughs> a funny way to figure that out, you know? Yeah, that's but right. But I'm not. I'm very interested in this location that they're in. Is this 
this new music? I think that it is. And then it cuts in. That's the music from uh, Revenge of the Sith there. Um, yeah, so Legacy of the Sith. Star yeah. Wars The Old Republic. Learn more right there. Okay. That was an excellent trailer. That was um, an excellent trailer, yeah. Yeah, the earlier trailers, I, I did love them, but sometimes I felt like they relied too much on the uh, music and like look of mm -hmm. the prequels. So I like that that one gave us the star map or at least star map adjacent you know content and you know astrolabe like if i mm -hmm. ever could pitch anything i would be like let me tell you everything i've ever thought about star wars but like somewhere in that list would be like but what if we had like star maps but they look like kind of like map maps you know so i at least right got yeah that. yeah i really i really like the way that that looks kind of like that hand-drawn uh kind of thing at the at the start that's really cool and then i always love getting more purple lightsaber content because like if you ever get if you ever do like the lightsaber forging experience you know at uh um galaxy's edge when mm -hmm. they talk about who has purple it's like and mace windu <laughs> and mace windu yeah end that's of right. list you know and it's like okay like so i'm like if they do make movies, like, someone needs to have a purple lightsaber. We need more purple lightsaber content, you know? Mm -hmm. so. That's right. Yeah, we have we have the yellow now. Ray had the yellow. So, yeah, we definitely need another character to have a purple one. Yeah. I think. You know, obviously, uh, Revan aside. Uh, but, yeah, this trailer was pretty great. It um, did everything that a trailer should do because now I want to know. I want to know more about that Jedi guy. I want to know a, more about uh, that girl. I want to know what was on that holocron. I want to know how Darth Malgus is still alive and uh, what he's what he's planning to do with this information. I want to know all that stuff. So yeah, I definitely need to get uh, get into Swotor so I can figure all this stuff yeah. out. Yeah. And then I did kind of ask our patrons like what their thought on the mm. not Discord, but Disorder um, <laughs> yeah. you know, trailer war was. And yeah. uh, Huni said... Um, I dug the Tomb Raider vibes, mm, and mm -hmm. Malgus continues to be a force of nature, and like, yeah, that, yeah, he is. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I definitely like that. Uh, that Tomb Raider, uh, vibe, Uncharted vibe, and actually, we're getting the Uncharted movie this week, so that kind of ties yeah. in uh, really good right there. But, but yeah, I like that. I I really like stuff like that, Indiana Jones, and uh that kind of thing historical yeah. adventures and yeah it definitely had that vibe so good call here. i'm definitely gonna see uh uncharted tomorrow so oh nice yeah and then uh natalie said i thought it was done well i like mm -hmm. how they included a twi'lek in the trailer i like how it captured malgus's power and all he had to do was plant seeds of doubt i like mm. how the padawan was given a story about how she was chosen and her brother wasn't yeah yeah, no, uh, all very good, very good points there. Um, it's interesting. One of the one of the things that that kind of brings to mind there, you know, now that we've we've watched it and having a chance to think about it, uh, you wonder if that's if that's her actual story, if or if that's you know just kind of a, a false memory that Malgus was putting into her head. So uh, it's kind of uh, kind of interesting. I think uh, the things with memories is that they're real, and then there's our interpretations of them, mm -hmm. uh, and. There's always, like, light, dark, and ambiguity. And uh, I think, like, probably her master, Master Orr, could have handled that situation better. Yeah, um, definitely. But Jedis aren't really taught to be healthy human beings. <laughs> or, you know, aliens, you know? Like, they're not taught to right, really yeah. value uh, yeah, that, the right things. So Yeah, that's true. That's kind of like, uh, that's kind of like Luke and... Ben, how they each kind of had their own interpretations of of that memory there at the Jedi yeah. Temple. So, so same kind of thing there, maybe? I don't yeah. know. So I guess maybe in a way we sort of got a little bit of a last duel, uh, Akira Kurosawa. Uh, mm -hmm. What is that f conceit called again? Rashomon. There we go. So, yeah, in a way we kind of got that. It would be cool to see it more in Star Wars. Uh and then we had yeah. a message from 
uh, Plex Armory. He said, I love the trailer. I always love seeing a new SWOTOR trailer. As for the Legacy of the Sith update, er, not so impressive. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't uh, dug into people's reactions on it yet. I know um, they did the big server update for it yesterday and stuff. So, but, but yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to keep my eyes peeled to see what people people are saying about the expansion here. Yeah, and then uh, Vasily said, "I loved how it was more character driven, and I wish that Lucasfilm slash Disney would just let the devs make a movie with those graphics and." I mean, like, the graphics are good, but the hard thing is, like, it takes a lot of, like, mocap planning, uh, mm-hmm. animation. Like, they're kind of expensive to make. Maybe the cost has gone down a bit, you know? Come down, uh, yeah. But I still think, like, it's a little bit, you know, of, like, a cost deterrent. But mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, for me, like, live action is my baby. Like, I love seeing... Uh, live action like I wouldn't mind seeing like kind of more like Deadpool-esque combat in Star Wars though Mm -hmm. I do like how the old Republic just feels different uh yeah I mean sometimes people just put down like the original or sequel trilogy and it's like they're just swinging bats around and like they also haven't been trained their whole lives you know and with the old Republic you know like you're fighting lots of people it's not just like you maybe find one sith or two sith it's like hundreds of dark jedi hundreds of sith uh like it's Mm -hmm. armies of jedi fighting armies of sith sometimes you know so they have to like they're fighting a a totally different kind of battle you know yeah and you have all of like the academies and you know there's still a lot of jedi and sith around to do kind of all of this training and stuff so yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, it, it should be better. Um, now, as far as, you know, turning this into a movie or a series or something like that, uh, I mean, that that's hard to gauge. Um, you know, it's been six years since the last one of these came out. So so I, I guess you have to think about that. What might be an interesting thing to do would be to do these trailers, kind of like how they did, like, the original, like, the 2D uh, Clone Wars things that were in like little like three minute chunks and it told the story and they could just you know yeah. release like one of those you know every week or something like that to to tell more of like like an entire fleshed out story versus just the the trailer so something like that could be interesting but yeah i mean definitely uh definitely a live action fan that, that's that's yeah. what we want to see here at the older I mean, public podcast <laughs> yeah i mean that that i mean that's our name you know so <laughs> we're kind of invested uh but i mean yeah like if those like Tales of the Jedi rumors ever do become real, I mm-hmm. think that would be pretty cool. Like maybe we don't have to like do a whole trilogy, you know, kind of of like say like Kotor, you know, it could be like kind of mm-hmm. like the flesh out a time period, you know, you can jump around and stuff and then kind of like fill in more gaps later, you know. Yeah, uh, especially especially for stuff like that that's like comic book length because you can totally tell like a whole story in like 30, 40 minutes. So you, they could just be like one off episodes that don't necessarily have to be like hyper connected. Um, you know, they could, they could bounce around a story and tell kind of a bigger sweeping story without going all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. Not to say that we're not, we're not, we're definitely not opposed to like, I don't know, hypothetically a trilogy based upon the KOTOR <laughs> game, you know? So. And then whatever that's, Kotor that's right, 2 right. is, you know, maybe it's an ice dance extravaganza. I, th- I think it is, yeah. Yeah, Crayon interpretive ice, yeah. dance, and it's just Kraya, you know. <laughs> so, I think that would be amazing. Like, if it was a Kraya, the one woman show, like, I would be like, yeah, I'm producing this, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be good. I would, I would watch that for sure, for sure. Yeah, so... Um, now that you're a pro streamer, where can where can people find your your pro streams? Yes, now that I now that I am a semi professional pro streaming amateur uh, streamer, you can come find me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash astro underscore droid underscore. Um, and like I said, I'm doing Jedi Fallen Order now, and hopefully I'm going to get into Swotor, and we'll be doing uh, 
you know, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga as soon as that comes out. I've got that ready to go. And uh, yeah, just playing some games, having fun. So come check that out. Uh, you can give me some pointers, especially if I'm playing SWOTOR, because I will have no idea what I'm doing or who I should be uh, playing my character as, um, all that stuff. So definitely, you know, uh, leave us a note, give me some advice, or come check out the stream and give me some advice there, because I could definitely use it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm a little bit of a noob when it comes to uh, the Old Republic, SWOTOR, you know. I guess you could call me a Nubian, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, like the Starfighter. But... <laughs> yeah, um, but... I learn more each day from like friends like Oliva Swotor uh, and all the great uh, Swotor, you know, YouTubers, podcasters, Instagram accounts. And mm -hmm. I've always loved the trailers and we'll have to react to them. And we're, we're getting more into uh, the older public of it all, you know, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely want to go through and um, you'll watch those again uh you know because i haven't watched a couple of them for uh, you know a few years now so to watch through them again and get reactions and uh you know see how it how it plays into the story that's been told in the swotor universe so far yeah if you dip into some old episodes some blasts from the past that i'm kind of like oh maybe leave them in the past let the past die if you really want to hear them you can dip into like episodes 21 23 25 27 where we talk all about like lightsabers uh, and definitely with episode 110 with Trance and Sabres. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in those episodes, like, we do talk about the Swotor trailers and all things lightsaber combat. Uh, I'm a bit of a nerd. Uh, I forged a sword. I, I do love nice. me some fencing. And uh, if I could, like, become parts of the Caribbean in real life, I'd be like, let's, let's do this, you know? But... Uh, I'm a slow noob, uh, Nubian, I guess. <laughs> Little baby fencer, you know, but I love it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. We'll have to we'll have to get you set up with your own Swotor character, and you can uh, you can forge your uh, lightsaber maybe there. Definitely, I always love yellow, so uh, yellow yellow for me. All right. Well, I guess that's going to wrap it up here for our uh, kind of legacy of the Sith, you know, reaction trailer reaction and. Uh, you know, diving into SWOTOR a little bit. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and let us know your thoughts about the trailer and may the force be with you.